Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It seems that in Tucker McCall's case, negative publicity does exist. The Wednesday, December 27, 2023, Young and the Restless recap makes Tucker feel uneasy and makes for awkward interactions, especially since the Abbots have caused a storm of negative news for him. In this episode as well, Phyllis attempted to take advantage of a private talk with Danny, who, in the end, used it as an opportunity to enforce the law. Christine took a risk of her own. As Danny was going on, Michael and Lauren attempted to maintain objectivity in the competition between Phyllis and Christine. Kyle tried his best elsewhere in Geno City to play on Audra's allegiances, while Devon updated the status of his relationship with Tucker, Ashley classified her relationship with Diane. Let's examine what happened in more detail now. Tucker attempted to clarify his previous inactions following the McCall Unlimited incident, which seems to have affected every blog, podcast, including Getting the Scoop with Clarence, and media outlet in the free world. Devon, understandably, wasn't satisfied with their explanations and voiced deep regret for having let his dad visit Dominic for Christmas. Devon even broke it down for his father because he was so done. Tucker has been screwing about with Chancellor Winters and Jabot ever since he came back to town. He lied about working with Aunt Mamie, and his marriage to Ashley ended in disaster. Tucker felt completely misinterpreted, but Devon was impatient with his justifications. He really had no time left for Tucker at all. Phyllis insisted on having a private talk with Danny, and the singer discovered what she meant when she said it. Danny appeared to be on board when she made a strong move at him. In the end, Danny declared that he would prefer to forget this spontaneous kissing session, and that he was firmly placing his foot in the buddy zone. When Christine got there, Danny appeared a little shaken, but Phyllis was all smiles and smugness as she left the scene. Once the rock star and the lawyer had some time to themselves, they talked about Phyllis and how she wanted to be with Danny. He did not, however, bring up the kissing. Was it suggested to do that? Danny and Christine later had a private chat of their own. Yes, precisely the same as the recent one he had with Phyllis. Regarding Michael and Lauren, they discussed their opinions with Daniel regarding the Phyllis, Danny, and Christine circumstance. They ultimately took a neutral stance believing that both ladies should be happy. Conversely, Daniel insisted that his mother never again pursue a romantic relationship with his father. Adding the abrasive to the abrasive takeover, Diane initially celebrated Tucker's defeat at the Abbott House. Then she had what could only be described as a cold confrontation with Ashley. Let's just say that Ashley views the two of them as in-laws rather than pals. That was the lesson taught, I understand. Not everyone was coping with Tucker's disastrous PR campaign, though. Audra, who is usually cool, collected, and calm, virtually lost it. Yes, Kyle helped to redact her name. How long will that last, though? The youthful abbot made the decision to try and play Audra's allegiances during this turbulent period. Consequently, he revealed how he and his family were responsible for the cover-up that was disclosed— it was now Audra's turn to select what Kyle believed to be the winning side. His, naturally. She told Kyle that she was tired of being gaslighted, but he called her out on her hypocrisy. After all was said and done, Kyle was overjoyed to have pulled a fast one on Audra. They were playing on more even ground now. Tucker's entry into the hotel room discourse escalated the situation. For once, a self-assured Kyle prevented Tucker from winning. Rather of breaking his silence, he told McCall that he had the ideal Jebot innovation to carry out Tucker's scheme to destroy his family's business. Tucker's desire for a drink and some time to sober up transformed into another opportunity to speak with Phyllis one-on-one -on -one not long after he confided in Audra that he never gives up. That is, until Ashley showed up in the space. The example of this is provided by the Y and R couple, who never stopped loving one another. Spoilers for Thursday, December 28, 2023's episode of The Young and the Restless reveal that Michael and Lauren are renewing their vows to each other and starting anew as they approach the new year. Q. 
key details from the young and the restless spoilers. Michael and Lauren found that Christmas was quite romantic. He proposed to her once more while first giving her a ring. As a point of clarification, Michael and Lauren are still married, in contrast to the majority of couples that experience this recurrence. She then proposed to him while holding a ring. They still adore one another. It is now time to host a spectacular celebration to prove it to their friends and family. Not everyone is a party animal, in particular for a pair who haven't experienced the drama of Nick and Sharon, Victoria and Billy, or Victor and Nikki. Taking the proceedings seriously becomes difficult when guests arrive for what seems like them time. The couple who has everything already has everything on their wedding registry, so there's no need to consider what you've already given them. You can, at least, really rejoice for the couple at this point and know that their love will last. We weren't sure what to think when Ashley announced she and Tucker were broken up after she returned from Paris. That flashback, though, where Tucker abused her in public and yelled, was what made us understand. That's right, they were over. Ashley's lack of conviction in comparison to the viewers is regrettable. Tucker's unpleasant news is known to us, but she's still attempting to assess their current situation. Additionally, her feelings for the man she finds difficult to let go of. Ashley Abbott finds it difficult to let go of her feelings for Tucker McCall, according to Thursday, December 28, 2023, teasers for the young and the restless. As recently witnessed by fans, Ashley entered the jazz lounge and noticed Tucker alongside Phyllis Summers. The relatively young and restless spoilers highlights, plus a romantic and unique manner for Michael Baldwin and Lauren Fenmore Baldwin to start the new year. Tucker will be seated alone in the jazz lounge on Thursday, December 28, according to Y and R teasers. Phyllis enters as Tucker is coping with David Hamilton's complete rejection and his scandal becoming widely known. A rejection from Danny Romolotti is something Phyllis is also coping with. Tucker and Ashley could have a few teasing comments. One could even wonder why Phyllis would hang out with Tucker. Ashley could wonder. It's likely that Summer Newman Abbott and Jack will hear about Tucker and Phyllis spending time together. Phyllis and Tucker will be in the Jazz Lounge on Thursday, December 28, and fans can expect Ashley to be in complete shock when she walks in. Ashley may become envious of Tucker's presence. Although Tucker's past private scandal was made public by Ashley and Jack Abbott, Ashley still harbors affections for her ex-boyfriend. Ashley might therefore get a little uneasy when she sees Tucker and Phyllis jointly. The second marriage of Michael Baldwin, New Year's Eve celebrations with Lauren and Michael are planned, according to Thursday, December 28 teasers for the young and the restless. A recent episode included viewers watching as Michael inquired as to whether Lauren would wed him again. All right, so Lauren was thinking of Michael's present exactly the same way. Thursday, December 28, the young and the restless spoilers. It's hinted that Michael and Lauren will celebrate the new year in a distinctive manner. A grand rewedding celebration would not have been possible in the allotted period. It is likely that the couple will tie the knot at one of the many New Year's festivities. Possibly, it will be exclusively the pair of them. That should make for an unforgettable New Year's, according to the soap opera. When it comes to Wednesday, December 27, which storyline are you most excited about? For Ashley, Tucker, Devon, Phyllis and Danny, what are your predictions? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.